And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday decks today. We got, uh, a, we're trying something new. Basically, I can, we can uh, put it like that. We're going to be playing some quote unquote fake decks today. We're going to start with fake Karma Lux. That's going to be our first deck of the day. So the reason why this is fake Karma Lux is because if you, if you, you know, you know what Karma Lux looks like. We played it yesterday. It's a very popular deck. You know, it's a control deck with Karma and Lux at the top end. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put one Lux in our deck and we're going to play a couple of Karmas. And really all we're going to be doing is playing Bannerman. <laughs> and so we're just going to be playing, um, you know, Curve Out, Bannerman and uh just playing demacia mid-range and then um and you know trying to curve out and beat our opponent down where they think that you know we're going to be playing karma and lux because all they get to see is our champions so will this actually work who knows we're gonna see but we're gonna be surprising some people that's for sure uh, i am going with like remembrances in the list um for basically like this is like our five mana card um instead of playing you know, like Silver Wing Lancer or anything like that, the five mana slot, we'll just go with the Remembrances, um, and so on. So we're going to be playing four decks today. We're going to do this. We have Karina Control, Vimerdinger, and Burn Aggro, where we have the champions for those decks. That's what I'm going to be playing, but I'm playing a completely different list and seeing if we fool our opponents. Um, yeah, that's that's basically our idea, our idea here today, Meme Tier Monday. Tomorrow, we got the 12-hour stream. So those y'all, so it's going to start at 11 a.m. Eastern, as you can see here. And uh, for those y'all watching on YouTube, we're going to have 10 videos tomorrow. So I'll be making the decks tonight and everything. Um, but yeah, we'll be playing uh, 10 decks tomorrow for a 12-hour stream because we hit enough sub goals to get there. Um yeah, the, so yeah, my plan, Karina Control, I'm basically going like Shadow Isle Sacrifice. Um, and uh, yeah, doing like the all the Sacrifice stuff with Shadow Isles and Neverglade Collector and stuff like that. Uh, Burn Aggro, I'm playing just a big Noxus and PNZ deck, you know, with like Minotaur Reckoner and Armored Tusk Rider and stuff like that. Like we're actually gonna, we're gonna be going uh, big. And then Vimerdinger. I'm going to try like PNZ Allegiance and try the um, the PNZ Allegiance card that gives one of your uh, allies elusive, um, you know, make creates a Sumpworks map and then try to make a bunch of and like try to be aggressive PNZ Allegiance. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> no, the plan is not to have the deck be so bad they'll think it's good. The plan is to have my opponent think I'm playing one deck and mulligan and make their first couple decisions based on thinking that I'm going to be playing one deck. I'm going to throw them a curveball and actually be playing a completely different deck than they think. So that's the plan. So we're going to see how it works. All right, let's go play five games over in ranked. Fake Karma Lux. See, they, they see Karma Lux. They're like, oh, I know what we're playing against. No, like, like, oh, I'm gonna. I know exactly what we're playing against. That's what they're saying. Come on, two drop. No. Give me that War Chefs. Give me that War Chefs. Hello. No, Warshaws, you're late. Um I guess Warshaw technically attacks for three where this attacks where Laurent Protégé attacks for two. Play Protégé, though. It's harder to kill Protégé. Shadow. 
And if I would have gone War Chefs, then that would have been kind of problematic dealing with that. Hard there. A symbol worth fighting for. One shot, all skill. Gotcha. Nope. Charge. Working out pretty well so far. Smell that? A fight to cook it. <laughs> yeah, we need Karma Voice with the no. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Who does not know the name Laurent? Who doesn't know the name Laurent? You think they mulligan thermogenic beam away? Possibly. Possibly. Get that fake out, see? You know they're thinking, like, what is going on right now? That's what they're thinking right now. Okay, so we're going to have... This challenge happen. Uh, this type of fake decks work better the higher your rank is. I'm not sure. Um, I don't. You know, I'm not exactly sure just how well this will work out just in general. But I would kind of assume that yeah, at the higher rank, people are are have played a lot more and they they really know like what what kind of decks they're going to have and that kind of stuff. Where like if, like at a low rank, if your opponent doesn't really know what's going on. Show them what we're made of. It doesn't, you know, fake, you know, you're not actually faking them out kind of thing. Bleh. In the name of our so we still have five cards. We have three cards. We're two cards behind, but we got the three in play. Ooh, Grizzled Ranger's good. Yeah, I got lots of new things you can do with your channel points now. No, no back to back.
That would be a pretty decent option. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit isn't great against Will of Ionia, of course, and uh, I'm only playing one. I'm just playing the one Unyielding Spirit. It's not like something that I'm uh, necessarily really trying to do, but we got the one in here. They're not leveling up the Ezreal first, where they would have dealt two damage to me. looking good for us right now. So now if they want a Will of Ionia, they're bouncing my, you know, to get rid of this, they're bouncing my Laurent Protégé. They're not bouncing one of my good at six drops. I would much rather them bounce a Laurent Protégé. Yeah, and they can't, that's true, they cannot deny this will final spark and also bounce, but they can bounce, like, after I attack. But I probably want to play both of these before attacking anyway. Bouncing their own thing. I... So we're going to have, the other thing that I liked about this is we get to have Laurent Protégé challenge the life steal thing. So they don't get, they don't get to gain any life with that. There we go. All right, fake Karma Lux. Did we win? Doing great. One and O. Oh. So far, so good. <laughs> GGs. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, Sitch Mister says definitely looks like they got hit by the mully. Yeah, like they they probably mulliganed away, you know, early removal spells, and helped us curve out and everything. I know that is the sad part that we don't actually know. We don't know, you know, we don't get to see their perspective, so we don't actually know how much we really get them or not. But you know, they have to mull like. They have to mulligan like they're playing against the Carmelux control, right? Like they have to. Not like they're playing against Bannerman. So they're thinking Carmelux control. This could be just a tough matchup. Just endure spiders could be tough for Demacia.
Uh, just none of these are really cards that can mulligan. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like, Endure Spiders is... Like, this deck's good against Demacia. Of just, like, getting a whole bunch of blockers. And then finishing up with the combo. <laughs> See, you can already, already tell, like, turn two, they're like, what is going on? You can tell, they're like, what? Double check. Is that what they think it is? I know what lurks in the shadows. You won't suffer long. Mm, a delicious challenge. A delicious challenge. So young. Who does not know the name Laurent? They're out there. Hmm. It's a good card to play. I guess my war chefs. Hmm. No, we missed. I have five Ionia cards in here. And that's it, just five. Ugh. Wow, what a what a terrible turn for me that I missed there and then that then they had Brood Awakening. Ugh, gross. All right, well, they curved out pretty well. Curved out pretty well. Um, let's see. Bounce Thresh doesn't really appeal to me too much. Is Unyielding Spirit on Grizzled Ranger great, where I get two attacks a turn? Like, maybe that's what I'm supposed to try to set up.
Definitely had something going on over there. No, I don't have an answer to They Who Endure Atrocity. If they also have They Who Endure Atrocity with them having this great curve out, then yeah, they're going to win. No, I, I don't have an answer to that. Block across, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't block across. Oh yeah, then that dies and so they level up Threx Thresh that way. With that dying. Dupes on champion cards. Yeah, you can have you can have multiple champion cards in play if you have different ways to get them in play, like Rekindler. They could glimpse beyond the other Spiderling to level up the Thresh, but did not do that. We played this deck that my opponent's playing yesterday. We played this exact same deck, and we never had games that looked like this. Our games are looking a lot, a lot different. I can't do the warshafts first because then, you know, like they get to chump block, level up their thrash. <laughs> awesome characters, yeah. Hope, yeah. Give it another try. Maybe. Maybe you just need another try at it. GG's. We did not have games that looked like that. But also, we never played against Demacia. That is a really tough matchup for Demacia. As I mentioned at the beginning. That deck's very good against Demacia. Yeah, this is our, our Vimerdinger deck that's Vi and Heimerdinger together. All right, Elise and 
Swain. Let me just start with this war chef, see what else we can find. Okay. Okay. No. Hapless aristocrat. Very good against me. Lady Elise, please take me home. Exact same thing our last opponent did. Turn one aristocrat, turn two Elise. That is. No, 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 no. That is bad for me. I just like Vanguard Redeemer more than um, Loyal Badger Bear. Like, I'd rather have a 3 3 that draws a card over a 4 4. That's just me, though. Um. Rude Awakening, another great card against Demacia. I must get out of here. Another great card against Demacia. I wish we weren't in the spider bracket. We're getting paired against all these spiders. I don't like the spider bracket. I can't find any cans of raid. I would, I'd like to get a can of raid, but I can't find any. Can't fight on an empty stomach. They are just taking it. Pro Surfer guy, what's up? Thanks for joining the stream. Awesome, and getting Twitch Prime sub. Saying I've been watching YouTube's YouTube videos religiously this past week, and it's my first time on a stream. Thanks for the quality entertainment. Thank you, Pro Surfer guy. Well, very glad to have you here. All right, so this block is weak to Noxion Fervor. Do we need to be weak to Noxion Fervor? I guess we could probably have that thing die. Do we 
Yeah, I, I don't think they'll have Brothers Bond, but yeah, I guess I guess I'm dead to Brothers Bond. I don't really expect that to be a card that they'll have. Noxion Fervor, on the other hand, was definitely a card I could see them having. All right, these are all fearsome because of the Cythria. That deny is deny is a good draw. Survive at one. No. I wish I had one more mana for Will of Ionia also, because I could have just Will of Ionia the Vanguard Redeemer and, you know, had Deny for a different thing. Because uh, I could just put this back in my hand and they'd be taking 10. But we didn't have that extra mana. Alright, our Delonte deck got through the spiders. Not always the easiest matchup, but they took a lot of damage without, you know, didn't block. Which let the Cythria come on back. So, Fake Karma Lux is 2 and 1. Alright, Twisted Fortune with Shadow Isles. Man, that's. I think we're supposed to keep both the Bannermans. Again, I really want a one or a two drop. Hmm. Come on, Warchefs. Come on, Warchefs. Not that kind of one or two. No. Oh. So like that's a problem with banner you know, if you don't have things to actually use with the bannerman, bannerman doesn't look so good. No, you're too late. Yeah, there's there's a card that uh, yeah you two mana draw a card from the enemy deck, and if you have plundered, so if you've dealt damage to him this turn, you get to draw another. That card is really really good. So, you know, it's basically always two mana draw two, but yeah, you draw you draw two cards from the opponent's deck. Oh, no, 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 that was dumb. That was dumb. That took so long, I just forgot. You know, I was re reading Twitch chat, and I, I forgot about the uh, cannon here. So it didn't actually save my guy, but oh well. I guess I guess this could keep Laurent Protégé alive, like where before Laurent Protégé was going to be a 2-2. So I guess, I guess it wasn't so dumb. I guess we... Protégé would have been dead, and now we have a 2-2 Protégé for that one spell mana. So that's not so bad. Down, will you? 
Not so bad at all. Interesting turn. A lot of things we could do. But we can only do one thing. I kind of feel like it's the four Demacia. Bannerman. It's a tough turn. I mean, maybe I just played Lux, get that in play. Oh, come on, really? No, we did the worst play. How have we missed twice now on Bannerman? Out of what, three times we've played it and twice it's missed? And I have five Ionia cards in the whole deck? We just drew one also. So that means there was back-to-back -back Ionia cards. Yeah, you don't want to class me. What's the deal with that? I mean, it's, it's either it's either I have one Karma, one Deny, and two Will of Ionias. So that's the options. So 50% Will of Ionia, 25% Deny or Karma. Oh. So do they just steal the... I guess they steal just the top card? I guess, yeah, they just draw the top card. So that means they, they drew... One of those two. Either Will of Ionia or Deny. So most likely Will of Ionia. One banner, one destiny. So broken. Because yet again, we did this kind of deck yesterday with all these cards and never had a, a hand where we got steel. You know, we had five steel cards. I'm just over here jealous. Snoring. Goes to a good cause. Me.
I doubt we're winning this with getting plundered a million times. But we we have some power. We do have, you know, our, our champions, so we have some power, but I'll be surprised if we win this. Has played very slowly. My duty's done. In that one. No, it's over for the life steal. If I would have fired that off, remember they have this zero mana tough they can play. I'm gonna just save it. care to kill Lux. I mean, I'm glad, but surprised. So slow. I'm not the fastest player, though. I'm usually, you know, also streaming and doing other things. Ideally, they don't have removal for Lux or Karma, and we get to untap with both of them. We know that they have either a Will of Ionia or a Deny, and most likely a Will of Ionia. Like, you know, it's a 67% chance they have a Will of Ionia in hand, and a 33% chance they have a Deny in hand. So they stole an Ionia card, and we know that for sure from earlier. My cards are really good. I keep on using all my cards against me. Oh, eight cards. 
crazy. Where there is life, there is hope. No, they took a single combat. Ugh. The answer lies within. Not good. Not good. Shouldn't have played my single combat, should have waited. At least I hope that card's deny. Not Will of Ionia, you know, if it's deny that doesn't look so good against Karma. Pump up this thing that's hurt, I guess. Add this to your bill. Guess it doesn't really matter. But. Stand strong. Not my first gun fight. Had a lot of little things go against us, like our bannerman missing earlier, that was big. And what do they have? Do they have triple pilfered goods? Double black market merchant. I don't know, they played so slowly I can't remember. So we cleared their board, but they still have the rest of my deck. If I capture this thing that's mine, and then my thing dies, do I get my do I get the card back or do they get the card back? Like who gets the card? Unyielding Spirit could do some work. I get the card back. Seriously, more of those? Bleh. I mean, I, I kind of thought it was... Oh, well, that's what I was going to say. I thought it was going to be Riptide Rex. So I, I'll take the, the Laurent Protégé if I get the card back. The capture card is removed from the game or returns when capturing unit leaves play. So that, who does it return to? I mean, I guess we should just try it out for science, right? See if we get our card or if they get our card. Let's just try for science. People in chat are saying it returns to me. So we'll see. I know in Magic, it would definitely return to me. Like, that's how it works in Magic, but I don't know how it works in this game. Like that. I've never had, never had that situation come up where they steal my card and then I try to steal it. You know, and then I detain the stolen card and then see it. Twitch chat was wrong. No, it goes back to them. <sighs> I 
All right, two and two. Opponent had all of my good cards. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't have put good cards in my deck. My opponent took them all. All right, and spiders again. All right, we'll keep this. Hopefully no hapless aristocrat. And we get to start attacking in right away. Come on, just pass the turn. Yay, no hapless aristocrat. Now, hopefully no Elise. <laughs> and hopefully no brood awakening. And just really just don't play any cards. <laughs> that would be nice. So it's tempting to play Tracker and Warchef's pre-combat. But that could be bad if they have Frenzied Skitterer, and then I don't get to actually challenge and kill Elise. Hmm. So I could just go straight to combat right now and have those trade. But then I'm missing out on a lot of attacks without having that other Warchef's and Tracker in play. It's a tough call. I'm gonna play, do the aggressive line, and play play my more cards to to do damage. A tribute to the spider god. Need Demacia. Feel the sizzle. Thorny Toad. See, what's our opponent having Vile Feast and Thorny Toad against Karma Lux Control? <laughs> what are we doing with Vile Feast and Thorny Toad? They probably, like, you know, mulliganed other cards and drew those, and they were, like, all bummed out that they drew those cards. And then it turns out that I'm playing a bunch of Fleet Feather trackers, and they're all excited. Of course not, Dent. I don't fight. How have we missed Bannerman so much? Three of the five times we've missed Bannerman trigger. Three out of five. We've hit it two out of five. <laughs> There's only... There's five Ionia cards out of 40. So the actual math to miss is 12.5% of the time. But us missing. Go ahead. Play with your food. There's even more. Yeah, you could cut a karma. Of course. Karma's still just a good card. I kind of want to play two because it is, it is just a good card, but. Yeah, we could go to Karma. It has been Will of Ionia every single miss. All three of our misses has been Will of Ionia on top. 
There's two Will of Ionias in the deck. The misses have never been deny, have never been, um, Show them what we're made of. never been karma. So basically, if we play Bannerman, that means we have Will of Ionia on top. So whenever I want to have Will, whenever I want to draw Will of Ionia, I should play Bannerman. So I could let that happen. We could obviously bounce the Thorny Toad. Um, could also bounce my Bannerman, though, and be able to replay Bannerman. All right, so we're not going to let it happen. We're going to do one of the other two options, and I'll bounce Thorny Toad. I like getting this... I like getting this damage in where we wouldn't get that damage in if I if I don't bounce like if I bounce my own bannerman. I like getting that damage in. And all the thorny to you know the thorny toads just you know a blocker for the Sithria where they already they already have like this other spiderling and, and presumably maybe they'll have other things that block Sithria anyway. So I'm glad I didn't try to bounce my own Bannerman because they would have just, just killed the Bannerman and then, you know, I wouldn't have gotten rid of the Thorny Toad. At least bounce that thing and make him reset it. Alright, we'll play Grizzled Ranger, Grizzled Ranger. Beginning a turn attack with the two scouts. Maxi, getting the new Twitch Prime sub in here. Thank you, Maxi. No, vengeance. Thank you, Maxi. That's already our fourth sub of the day. That was awesome. Get in there, Grizzled Ranger. Awesome, thanks, Maxi. Also, it's kind of a little periodic reminder. We're going to be having a 12-hour stream tomorrow, which means that basically it means that we're going to be playing 10 decks. So we're we'll making 10 videos for you, for those y'all watching on YouTube. Yeah, get Leviathan out of here. Leviathan, real good. Get that out of here. Hungry. Come, stay a while. 
That is 19 if they have nothing else. There we go, 18. Join the conflagration. 17. On fake karma lux. Come on, fake karma lux, let's go. Feel the shit fight on an empty stomach. Yeah. Alright, three and two. There we go. Finished with a winning record. Good old three and two, even with our very bad Bannerman luck. We missed how to, we played Bannerman five times and three times it was Will of Ionia on top. Three of those five times. But um, yeah, there we go. So, you know, pretty. Pretty decent deck, you know, it's not as strong as regular Bannerman, where you're going to have, like, Fiora, or you're going to have Garen. Like, those are some some really nice champions. But, you know, you can kind of replace it, and, and uh, Vanguard Redeemer and Vanguard Sergeant, I like both of those cards, and, and like, those kind of replace our Fiora. And then, in, you know, instead of Garen, you have a couple Karmas and a Lux. You know, those are, you know, Karmas and Lux can do a whole lot for you. Um, you yeah, know, there's, there's times where they don't do a lot, but there's other times where they can just win games and everything. They're really powerful cards. So yeah, that's our Bannerman deck. Not too bad, not too bad. So, um, all right, so our fake Karma Lux deck, a success. This is the one that I was the most confident in out of the four, but we got some fun ones to play. So up next, we're going to be doing fake Karina Control. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think of this series. I, you know, if you like this, these fake outs that we're doing, we're juking our opponents, um, you know, with our champion choices. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, we're having a fun day today. That's what Mondays are on the stream. Monday fun days. All right. Thanks so much for watching some fake Karma Lux, and I'll see you for the next video.